Welcome back fans of 164 scale diecast automotive. Today we are entering the junkyard because we need to add some new tow trucks to the junkyard. It is filling up and the cars need to be moved around of course. So we've enlisted the help of some green light dually drivers. This is series 8. I've got two tow trucks. These are going to be my favorites out of this box and that's why I've got duplicates but we've got a sealed box getting opened up right here on the diorama full of all six dually drivers from the latest release at time of filming January 2022. Let's get these trucks out into the yard and see what we can do with them. Before I crack this sealed case open I've got these two trucks already out for a quick review just to show you what dually drivers is all about. We're going to see these trucks in this case. Uh, 69 Chevrolet C30 dually wrecker with blue and black flames. Very cool. Push bar on the front. There's the packaging. It's going to be the same for all of them. You've got the list of all six vehicles in the set, which you're going to see today in this video. Uh, and also we've got this one. Oh, I thought I had these pre-cut so I could just slide them out, but I do not. Uh, 72 Chevrolet C30 Dually Wrecker Downtown Shell Service. These are nice vintage 1960s and 70s wreckers, which are going to look great in my junkyard. So we're going to just move right into the case unboxing as we need to see what the other four vehicles are. And uh, I've got my little knife handy here, so we can do a full live unboxing with you. There's a chance of a green machine chase vehicle in here, as this is a sealed box from my local diecast store, Aurelia Diecast. And uh, I have not been receiving green machines from Greenlight lately in my sealed box openings, so I am well overdue. Let's see what's in here. There is the truck we just looked at, the uh, 72 Chevy C30. So we'll get that one out of the way. And there's the other one we just looked at, the 69 Chevrolet C30. So we'll put those aside. Everything else is going to be brand new so far in. The paper looks a little mashed in. I'm not really sure how come that happened. Almost looks like it's been opened before, but I don't think it has based on the tape. Um, 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 Dually. Red with black flatbed. So these are compatible with the hitch and tow trailers as they do have hitches on them. At least this truck does. The wreckers don't. So that's a nice newer Chevrolet. And we've got the Dodge Ram 2018. And this is the 3500 Dually Landscaper dump truck with the bright silver metallic. We know this has a tipping bed with opening back doors so a lot of functionality to this truck which you're going to see as we are opening up all of these models for a full loose review today here on the junkyard diorama and what have we got here Woof. 2018 ram 3500 dually wrecker la county metro freeway service patrol so you would find these ones lurking under the highway overpasses on uh, large express routes perhaps and a very modern tow truck assembly on the back. The final truck out of the package, 2017 Ford F-350 Dually from Detroit, Michigan, Mounted Police. So once again, no green machines. Uh, I'm not really sure why we're not getting any green machines. I guess maybe they are becoming more scarce, or maybe I'm just having some bad luck on the greenies. Either way, I don't mind. All these trucks look great with their original chrome wheels on them. Looks more realistic than the green wheels. So we're going to get all six of these vehicles opened up for a loose review. As a part of this review, we're going to test the tow ability of these tow trucks. I've got two different vehicles here that we're going to test tow. One is this SD Trucks Chevy, and another is this old Pontiac Le Mans for the smaller tow trucks. So we're going to look at the tow trucks first. And first one coming to the package is that 69 Chevy C30. I'll just take a quick look at this awesome paint job first and foremost. Check it out. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, no. Big gluey fingerprint or something right on the hood. What a shame. Good thing I got two of these, so hopefully the other one is a little better. Uh, I don't know if that's going to come off easily. That looks pretty serious. Uh, we'll try outside of, the, uh, outside of the video, though. But look at all this detailed apparatus on the back. Uh, there's the tow bit. So actually, this truck can't tow anything. These are... Uh, not going to be moving anywhere. It's a static display. So I guess the uh, tow ability will be really excluded to the 2018 Ram 3500. Nice all-metal casting, though. Uh, satin black paint. 
And uh, we got a wheel off the rim here, but that's not a big deal. Fix that up. Looks like it's going to be a... Oh, my. That's a really misshapen tire. That's too bad. Well, holy smokes. Well, we got some really bad wobbly tires on that one. Good thing we're not on a hard service to, to see it wobble, but it does roll, so at least there's that. Um, okay, we'll go to the next truck, and uh, that's going to be the 72 Chevy C30. Hopefully we don't have any issues with this one. And some very nice details here with the downtown shell services on the door. Service is our business. It's got a phone number. And again, as you can see, a static kind of uh, tow apparatus on the back. Uh, so these are customizable. You could turn these back into pickup trucks or turn pickup trucks into tow trucks by drilling out a rivet or two and taking this off using the chassis and the just taking the cab off, essentially. You could do all sorts of cool customs with it which is probably what I'll end up doing with this blue one, given that the uh, paint on it is kind of hooped. So we've got two nice tow trucks so far. Let's take out the third tow truck. And that is going to be the new tow truck here, the 2018 Ram. Let's see what it can do. I can't remember if this apparatus does anything, actually. I've kind of jumped the gun, perhaps, on this. But call 399 Metro Freeway Service Patrol. A uh, nice big detailed grill and light bar. I wonder if the focus would be better if I zoomed in a bit. It seems to be hunting quite a bit, so apologies for that. Uh, yes, it does have a uh, somewhat functional but very fragile feeling. It doesn't lift up or down even though it's got a piston. That's just a static piece. So that's about it. Um, let's move a few of these vehicles back and see if we can get the big truck on the uh, on the tow hook. And there you go. That works out pretty good. So I don't think the smaller trucks are going to be able to do that, but you can kind of simulate something. A little hook, hook up like that sort of thing. It's kind of hard to see behind the other truck. But anyways, that looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, it didn't stay on for very long. Let's try a car now. The car, the car might actually work out better. Uh, whereas there's no way the smaller dump truck is going to pull that big Chevy. Uh, there you go. All right, and that takes us on to the next vehicle. I guess we can just move these aside. We'll get these all back in the camera. I'm going to look at the, while we're looking at Dodges, I'm going to look at this 2018 Ram Dooley landscape truck. This is very cool casting. Uh, it does have a plastic box, but very functional. Check it out. It's got the scissor arm. Hello, focus. Scissor arm on it. The opening dump doors. Very cool toy. Uh, or model very well detailed got the mirrors all around it We're really struggling to focus here so uh you wouldn't think this would be a problem in the 21st century but we are having problems with focus lensing so anyways we'll just zoom out slightly and hopefully that works a little better this is a good rolling truck no issues there and although it's not meant for this purpose you can certainly carry there's a hair you can carry your car in the back Next one we're going to look at is the 2017 Ford F-350 Duelli. They're all Duellis, hence the Dually Driver Series. And here it comes. Does it have a hitch? Yeah, you got the hitch on it. Uh, Detroit Mounted Police. This is a, meant to pull a horse trailer. Nice that these are all metal castings. We haven't had any plastic chassis so far. Some painted ones, but metal chassis all the way around, so that is really... Kind of important to me i like to see and feel the weight of the die cast metal at the price point and uh very cool truck so we got pretty pretty solid roller oh boy look at that back tire what happened front ones are good back ones are definitely out around you can see it, the flashing all around it so i probably could trim that that'll make it a little better final truck out is the 20 uh, 16 Chevrolet Silverado 3500, dually, and there you go, flatbed. These ones sometimes have problems with the headlights, but they're pretty good, a little bit crooked. Uh, got those big detailed mirrors on it, nice shiny windows. No issues with, uh, not too many issues with the paint or any grease or anything like that that we'd notice in the past. Again, struggling to find a focus here. Uh, got the hitch, diamond plate. That's all metal too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this one does have a plastic chassis actually. And uh, how are the wheels? Acceptable. Okay, it looks like we have uh, at least one that's gonna roll fairly smoothly. 
That is the lineup of vehicles from the Greenlight Dually Driver Series 8. Uh, looking forward to seeing what fits in the junkyard. We've got to recycle a whole bunch of plastic. Would be really nice if Greenlight went to just a cardboard back with a plastic blister like an Auto World package typically has. A lot less waste generated. I get that the plastic is meant to ensure the vehicles come in good condition to your, uh, to your door. But realistically, the vehicles often have so many issues and flaws and broken parts and whatnot. What does it really matter? We don't need all that plastic, guys. Anyways, uh, hopefully that changes because I'm all about uh, reducing the amount of plastic waste in these toys. And uh, I think they could do a lot with the packaging. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're after anything, of course, happy hunting. Uh, next video, we're going to be looking at something other than green light. Got lots still to look at. And things are piling up. Got more orders on the way. We've got a very big order of Auto World. We still have some exclusives from Greenlight to look at down there on the floor. A whole bunch of cool stuff. Some M2. Uh, even some Mini GT. And, of course, Vintage Hot Wheels. Got to get another Vintage Hot Wheels video out pretty soon. We're going to be looking at 1995. Stay tuned.